about 160 kilometers from Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, grapes thrive at a vineyard run by French drinks company Castel. Conditions here in Zoe, in the country's east, are perfect for the crop. It usually does well in a subhumid to subarid climate. This 120 hectares vineyard started in 2007 and produces grape varieties imported from Bordeaux, France. The grapes are picked by hand by workers from surrounding communities. I have three children. One of them is a third year engineering student and the other two are seven and eight years old. I'm able to cater for their needs through this farm. The world's major brewers have turned to emerging markets such as Africa for growth because consumer spending in Europe is sluggish and the United States offers only limited expansion opportunities. Castel is the third largest wine producer in the world and the second largest beer and soft drinks business in Africa. It produces both white and red wines here in Ethiopia under brand names Acacia and Rift Valley. It's uh, colorful because the weather is not uh, so hot. Uh, the, the weather is uh, uh, temperate in uh, Ethiopia, not too much hot, not too much sunny. And so the, the, the color and flavor and all everything is uh, perfect in uh, Ethiopia. Ethiopia's average annual beer consumption of some five liters per capita is about half the average for sub-Saharan Africa, excluding South Africa, offering scope for expansion among the population. Castel hopes to take advantage of this to market itself in Africa's second most populous country. Honestly, it's beyond our expectation because we, we started the, the, the sales of our wine in April, May, the last year, and today we have no more wine to, to sell. So for our first production, it was really a performance, and so it's, it is beyond our, uh, our expectation. Half of the wine produced is sold locally, and the rest is exported. In Europe and United States, our target is uh, to reach to the Ethiopian diaspora. But in the, in the region, we, in the region, in the East African region, we, we want to be competitive with the South African uh, wine. And so it's not only the Ethiopian diaspora, but also the, the, the African people of the region. Ethiopians are not new to wine. Traditional wine made from honey, known as tej, has been consumed here for centuries. Commercially produced wine has also been available for decades. Vineyards started by Italian troops who occupied part of the country in the 1930s continue to produce wine. Wine has a big place in Ethiopian tradition. Our traditional wine called Tej is yellow and this one is red. That is one difference. I love wine. In Ethiopian tradition, we often drink wine especially when eating raw meat. I can tell you, it's our respected drink. Castel was founded in 1949 by nine brothers and sisters and is still run by its founding president, Pierre Castel. The beverage giant has over 1,500 hectares of vineyards in Africa. Maria Galang, CCTV.